Let's take the 14-foot, 6-inch pole we portrayed in a previous example and drop its tip to the ground. Let's increase our radius by 3 more feet and add a 17-foot, 6-inch pole to our demonstration. Now, let's drop the tip of the 17-foot, 6-inch pole to the ground, then we will slide the 17-foot, 6-inch pole left horizontally to match tips with the 14-foot, 6-inch pole. This example illustrates equal energy being applied as the same vaulter uses the airstrike technique with the two different pole lengths to achieve extreme extension vertex height. The airstrike system provides pole vaulters the easiest and most efficient method of safely progressing to higher grips and longer poles because using proper technique simply applies the vaulter's energy to go higher and upward far more effectively. Primitive traditional pole vault methods not only dramatically decrease the vaulter's extension vertex height at the instant any vaulting pole strikes the back of the slideway, but after the strike of a flexible vaulting pole, primitive traditional vaulting methods continue to make matters even worse. At the moment of strike, using traditional methods, the vaulter actually begins forcibly pulling the top end of a flexible pole towards the ground. At this same moment, during which the vaulter's kinetic energy is being transferred into the flexing pole, the vaulter's horizontal velocity produces a dangerous and unpredictable accumulation of increasing resistance that forces the pole to push back against the vaulter while increasingly preventing the vaulter from proceeding any further in a forward direction. In other words, as the pole increasingly absorbs the vaulter's forward energy, the pole's opposition to the vaulter's forward momentum increases, which results in the opposite effect of what the vaulter should safely be achieving. Forcing the pole to bend by pushing it horizontally while the vaulter is still on the ground is counterintuitive to vertically raising the pole towards the direction of the landing surface area. When the vaulter jumps upward before strike, airstrike automatically utilizes the full potential of the vaulter's horizontal velocity by directing 100% of the kinetic movement upward and forward, as vertical momentum flows in concert with the vaulting pole rather than opposing it. 